Hello my dudes, my name is Leah and today I have another update for the Deca Panning Project Pan. So this Project Pan was created by Emily from Emily and Max. I'll have her channel linked down below and at the end of this video as always. Everything you need to know about this project, the rules, the game board, um, Emily's introduction video, all that will be linked in the description box. So definitely check that out if you're new to this project. But for this update I'm just going to jump right on into my progress. So the first product I have in here was for the prompt A to Z shade. So I randomly selected a letter and I got the letter C. So I picked out one of the blushes from my Arthurine blush palette by Menagerie. Um, the shade is called Cloudberry. It's this one up in the corner here. It's like a neutral pink, um, leaning a little bit cool toned. It's really pretty. You can see it actually has a little bit of hard pan on it. Um, that's because I just tried to swatch it for you guys and for some reason this specific shade, like it doesn't happen with any of the other shades in this palette, but when I swatch Cloudberry, it gives it a hard pan every single time. So I'm not going to swatch it. Um, I have to take that hard pan off with some tape now. Um, and for some reason, it's just this particular shade. I've noticed that Cloudberry is also less pigmented than all of the other blushes in this palette. I'm okay with that because these blushes in general are already super pigmented and almost a little bit too pigmented for my personal preference. Um, so I am okay okay with Cloudberry being not all that pigmented. It still shows up really well on my skin tone, but that's just something to note. Um, I'm not sure what makes this shade different than all the other shades in the palette, but I still liked using it. Um, I did hit my 15 use goal, so this will be rolling out. I used it an additional 7 times this month to get to that 15 use goal. So we will be rolling this out and picking a new product in its place at the end of this video. Okay, so our next product is for the prompt random color generator. So I generated this really pretty blue up here. So I picked the Pretties for Your Face lotion in the shade Cherry Blast, I think it was. The packaging got rubbed off because I used it in the shower. I know it's a lotion, but I used it as a shaving cream because I don't have one, and it worked pretty well for that. I like to use my lotions as shaving creams. Yeah, I did manage to finish this completely. Um, it was pretty much full when I brought it in, and it took me 30 uses to completely finish this. So I used it an extra nine times since the last update to finish this for a total of 30 uses. I really did like this lotion. It's really nice. This scent is actually a dupe for the Bath & Body Works Black Cherry Merlot scent. So if you wanted something that's cruelty free but you really like that scent, Definitely check out this lotion by Pretties for Your Face. It was really nice. I did enjoy it. It's not spot on the same as Black Cherry Merlot, but it is very close, and I really did enjoy this. I do have a discount code with Pretties for Your Face. It's Leah. Um, I'll put it up on the screen if you want to get 20% off, but um, no pressure to use my code. But yeah, this guy will be rolling out, so that's a second card that we will be drawing in at the end of this video. Okay, so the next product was for Represent Another Project. I chose Partners in Cream, which was created by Steph Lyons and Delin. Um, so I brought in my Fenty Hydrating Foundation. Um, so we actually started at this blue line right here. Not this one, but this one. I had this in other projects previously, so um, my goal is obviously to finish this. And now we are down to here. So we've made some progress, not a ton. I'm pretty slow when it comes to panning foundations, but I did use this eight times. I did get a couple new foundations and I've been playing with those rather than this. So I need to step it up because I just want to finish this and get it out of my collection. It is nice, but I don't find it to be hydrating. I mix a little bit of oil and my Auric Glow Lust in with it and that's how I like to wear this foundation. On its own it can sometimes make my face look quite dry. Um, it will accentuate dry patches so I don't really understand the name for this. Like I'm sure it's more hydrating than their original foundation but it's not hydrating at all really. So. I'm just going to keep working my way through this. I know I'll be able to finish it before the end of the year at least, so we'll just keep working on it. 
Okay, so these last two products were actually rolled in last update. So the first one is for the prompt in it for the long haul. So I brought in my Fenty Cream Blush in the shade Petal Pop It. Now my goal is to hit pan on this. I have no idea how long it's going to take, but let me show you what it looked like in the intro or last update, I guess. And here's where we're at today. So you can see I've been using it. There's some brush marks. It looks kind of gross to be honest. I'm still quite a long way from pan, so we're just going to keep working on it. Um, I have a ton of cream blushes, so um, focusing on one is kind of difficult for me because I love mixing up my cream blush. And I did just roll a liquid blush into another project. And then I'm panning a third cream blush in my Mission 100% Cruelty Free project, even though I haven't updated that project in like four years. But um, yeah, we're just going to keep working on this. It's going to be in here for the long haul, as the prompt suggests. So. I'm not too worried about it. I'll get there eventually. It's just going to take a long time. But it's a gorgeous color. I absolutely love it. Let me swatch it for you. That is it right there. The shade Petal Poppin. Okay, and then our last product that's still in this project comes from Blend Bunny. It's the Surge Palette. So this got rolled in for the largest category because obviously... Um, eyeshadow is my largest category, but isn't this just the most beautiful color story you've ever seen? Like you got the neons, the really dark uh, deepening shades, you have your mid-tones, you have pastels, which I love, and then a row of shimmers, of course. The shimmers don't really impress me that much, but I do really like the mattes. And surprisingly, I really enjoy these neons. They're quite good in terms of neon shades because those are really hard to formulate and you guys know how I feel about pastels. I love those. But my goal was just to use every shade in this palette once, doing the no pan left behind style. Um, I have used quite a few of these but I haven't used every shade yet so it's still going to be staying in this project. Um, I'm not going to go through every shade that I use because I used a ton. But yeah, I'm just slowly working my way through all of these shades. I'm panning a lot of eyeshadows right now, so um, it's taking a while. But I think I can actually have this rolled out for next update because I've used over half of the shades. So yeah, really enjoying this palette. Okay, so now that I've showed you all of my progress, we get to roll in two new cards. I have my deck of cards here, so uh, just a quick recap. We will be replacing the Pretties for Your Face lotion and the Menagerie Cloudberry blush. So I have my deck of cards here. I'm just going to shuffle them because I haven't done that yet. So while I shuffle these guys, I'm going to pop up a picture of the game board and see so you can see what we have to work with this month. Um, I have not looked at it yet. I'm really excited. It's going to be a surprise for me. I like to keep it a surprise. Um, I don't know. I just think it's fun that way. But I'm just going to continue to shuffle these a little more. Let's pray we don't get the Joker. I shouldn't say that because then I'm going to get it. You know how that works. Okay, so they're all shuffled. I'm just going to cut the deck and we will take the bottom card. Okay, so we have a King of Diamonds as our first card. We will give this another shuffle. And then we will just cut the deck one more time. A Ten of Clubs. Okay. So we have a face card and a number card, so that's really exciting. We get one of each. So I'm just going to go check on the game board what these are, pick my products, and then come back to show them to you. Okay, so I'm back, and that literally took me like two minutes to pick my products. Like record time of how fast it took. So let me just show you guys what I picked. So for the King of Diamonds, that is a oldest product. I've gotten this prompt quite a few times, but... Um, you get what you get, so we're going with it. So I decided to go with my oldest lip liner. Now this has seen better days. It has been chewed up. Um, I think my dog got it at one point or something. I don't know. But I literally, you guys, I got this in high school. I should say what this is. This is the MAC lip liner in the shade Stone. 
Um, yeah, so I literally got this in high school. Um, I graduated in 2014, so it's been a hot minute, but this is still my favorite lip liner to this day. It is the most beautiful gray brown. Um, hopefully, it's kind of a not really a big enough swatch to see what it looks like. There's an absolutely hideous swatch. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I want to bring this in. It still works good. It hasn't changed formula. Like, I think just because these MAC lip liners are so dry, they stay good for so long. Um, and yeah, it's still my favorite lip liner. Now, I hardly ever wear lip products anymore except for lip balm and lip gloss, but I figured a lip liner I can pair with lip gloss and have a more comfortable lip, and it's just a category that I never work on that I want to get more use out of. So, yeah, we're gonna work on this lip liner. Now, I'm not going to make my goal to finish this. I'm not even gonna make my goal to finish half of this. I'm going to set a usage goal of 10 uses for this product. Now, I know that seems really low, but for the amount that I wear lip products, it's just, that's a lot for me, to be honest. 10 uses on one lip product that's not a lip gloss is a lot for me. So we're just going with 10 uses and that way we can keep this project rolling a little faster um, because we do have some long haul products already in this project. So yeah, we will be doing 10 uses on Mac Stone for my oldest product. And the next card we pulled is the 10 of Clubs, which is a bronzer. Now. I don't really talk about this, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I actually don't wear bronzer ever. I'm really white and I just don't like the way that bronzer looks on my skin. Like even if I have a really light bronzer, I find that it just looks off on me and it's just like an extra step that I don't find necessary for my routine. Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be like, what? Because bronzer is like a go-to for so many people, but it's just not for me. I love blush. I wear blush every single day that I wear makeup, and that's my thing, to bring color back into my face. However, I do contour almost every day. I contemplated re-rolling for this, but then I found a product that actually I think works pretty well for this prompt. So I'm bringing in my Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette. Now yes, this is a contour palette, this is the cool and light one, but honestly I don't have a single bronzer in my collection except for the one in this palette here. I know I'm not going to use this shade, I'm not going to work on this. This probably wasn't the best purchase for me, but I figured I could use this shade as an eyeshadow. But for the sake of how I like to do my makeup, I'm going to work on the contour shade in this project. So I'm going to work on this little middle shade here. It's very small, but it is a lovely contour. So that's what I'm going to use, and I'm just going to set a goal to use this 20 times because I don't know how deep these pans are and I just don't feel like hitting pan on a contour right now. So yeah, we're going to do 20 uses for this product. And yeah, that's everything for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching this update. Um, definitely check out Emily if you haven't already and everyone else doing this project. There is a playlist that I'll have in my description box of everybody else's updates or you can search the hashtag deck of panning and you'll find tons of other content creators to watch who are doing this project as well. But I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe, but that's it for now. Bye.